Hello everyone and welcome to the uh, to a part of the making a game in C um, series. Um, today we will actually start coding a little bit. Um, we will uh, set up the project and uh, yeah, start coding a little bit. <clears throat> um, so yeah, we'll we'll see how far how far we'll come in this part. Um, so yeah, let's go to this YouTube directory that I have been working in before, and let's create another directory in here called uh, let's just call it CPong. Oh, uh, CD CPong. CDC pong. There we go. And we're gonna need a make file. I'm gonna need a src directory. And I'm gonna need an src slash include directory. And I'm gonna need a src main.c file. And actually I'm gonna need an src include main.h file. And you'll see why I'm doing that in a bit. I I'm, I write my make files in a specific way that they actually depend on a main.h file. I know it's not very sexy, but I mean that's how I do it. Um, my make file requires every C file to have a .h file. I know that can get sort of bloated, but yeah, maybe we'll fix that later. But for now, let's just do that. Uh, let's open up an editor and yeah, let's let's just write our main method here to begin with. Um, and we're gonna return zero. Let's just print something here. Uh, pawn game. And we're also going to include that one. And now we're going to start making the make file. I'll see if I can write it out of my head. Uh, I probably can't. I usually just copy an old one that I have, but let's just try and do this. So first we're going to want something called we're gonna have an executable, which is going to be, let's just call it pong.out. And yeah, we're gonna have some objects and that will be wildcard. Uh, I think this is how I do it. Might be wrong here. We'll see. Um, actually, I think it's like something like that. Ah, we'll see. We'll see. Okay. Um, um, and then we're gonna have dot 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 o, which will be include. Something like that, I think. GCC. Um, Man, I'm not gonna be able to do this without looking. Uh, <laughs> I'm realizing that, so I'm just gonna copy it from uh, another project that I have. Right, so. Wildcard thing. Uh, no, I got it completely wrong. <laughs> uh, this one should be supposed to be sources and other than that, it's correct. And then we're gonna have an object is equal to. Or 
process.c equals dot o. I think this one just replaces the dot c extension with dot o. Um, cool. Then we're going to have xx. So this is basically the instruction for creating the executable objects gc. C objects. Let's don't care about the. Oh, let's just do the flags. Oh, exec. That's we don't need the f pick for now. Um, then I'm gonna want some. Then we're gonna do this dot o thing. Dot. Oh, include dot age GCC. Oh, we already did it. GCC C flags. And that's basically all we need for now. And I'm just going to add a clean command as well. Uh, do, do, do. And that's all we need for now. I actually think this is pretty much all that we need. Um, we haven't defined the flags though, so let's just do that. I think the flags thing will be empty for now because, or actually, we will we will add the open gear stuff there. But uh, um, let's just leave that empty for now because um, I I know I'm gonna be fiddling with the glad library. Um, before I do like add the open deal stuff, so <clears throat> uh, can you just leave it empty like that? I wonder. No input files. I think maybe you can do that. Now it doesn't find any input files, and this is because uh, why is this? Oh, this is supposed to be dot C like that. There we go. We compile it, found it out. Cool. Um, cool. Yeah, we'll add the flags later. Um, but now we got our basic make file. Now we're gonna start working with some data structures here. Uh, for like a core engine, uh, and I'm basically just doing things out of my head. Like um, I don't even know what the correct way to do this is. And also, as I said in previous videos, don't see this as some sort of tutorial or anything. This is just me fiddling around, um, <clears throat> and hopefully we'll get a game out of it. Um, so yeah, maybe we should create an. Uh, we're gonna have a data structure for like game objects. So what I usually do, I call them actors. I think that's a pretty good name. Like if you imagine the game to be some sort of um, uh, movie, <laughs> you have your actors and you have your scenes and stuff like that. So yeah, I'm gonna create an actor.h here. And yeah, this is gonna be a struct. So basically first we're gonna do uh, if and def uh, pong actor age um, define pong pong actor age. Then we're gonna have type def struct uh, actor struct. Cool. And by the way, I just woke up, so maybe I'm not one hundred percent. Um, 
aware of what I'm doing. <laughs> um, and if, there we go. So what will our actors have? Well, they're gonna have floating point X for their X position, floating point Y. Um, I mean, they are gonna have some sort of depth. It's not gonna be a 3D game, but we'll have like some sort of depth where th maybe things can overlap each other and stuff like that. So yeah, let's just add on a C, a C variable as well. Um, is there anything else that we will need here for now? I mean, it's going to, um, it's probably gonna have a, a texture as well. Mm. But then we're getting into the OpenGL stuff, and I don't really want to begin with that. I want to make the data structures first, but I mean, this one will have OpenGL stuff in it. Um, I mean, for example, I know that we're going to have an unsigned int uh, uh, VBO for uh, the uh, vertex buffer object, but. Um, Maybe we should just focus on the data structures uh, right now, and then we'll just think about the OpenGL stuff later. Uh, right, so we will have another method. Since we don't have like classes and stuff in C, you can sort of hack, hack in that behavior in certain ways. So for example, I can, I can write a constructor here now that is going to be used later to instantiate actor objects, all right? Um, so yeah, let's just write that. Uh, so we will have an actor in its actor, and this is like the constructor for the actor, and it will take a float x, float y, float c, right? Now let's create an implementation file here. Touch actor.c, and we're going to include the include slash actor dot age and we're gonna want that one and then we're gonna do um actor this equals calloc one size of actor so now we're allocating memory for that one well, uh, we need to do it's a pointer like that. Okay. And this x equals x, this y equals y, and this c equals c. All right. So now we got a basic constructor there for that object. Um, now, what should we do now? <clears throat> I mean, that's, um, we're probably going to have like an update and a render method as well. Um, so maybe we should just add that. Um, void update or tick actor. Void render actor. Or draw, and it's going to take an actor. Hmm, I wonder why that, why that happened. Actually, you know what? It's not a good idea to use the this as a variable name because then this uh, code will not be C plus plus compatible. Uh, I know we're writing it in C, but it's always nice to have it C++ compatible as well, so let's just call it A. Um, just realized this. There we go, and let's just call this A here as well. Actor A, and also this is a pointer, so we need to do that. Cool. Um, so let's just add the update and draw methods as well to the implementation. Do, do, 
do. There we go. Now I'm I'm not sure we're gonna use these methods later actually, because I mean we're sort of gonna hack in and sort of inheritance as well. So like for example, we'll create a, a ball object that will sort of inherit from the actor object. And I mean inheritance doesn't really exist in, in C, but you can sort of hack it in as well. So yeah, I'll show you how to do that later. Um, if I remember, <laughs> I'm probably gonna have to stack overflow it because I, I know I've done it before in other projects, but I, maybe I don't remember at the top of my head how to do it. I know that, for example, you can put a, uh, a struct like at the, as the first pointer or the last pointer or something like that in this struct, and then uh, you can sort of use that as inheritance. Yeah, I don't really remember. Let's just look at that later. Uh, all right, so now we got those methods. Um, I actually want to print some stuff here just to, if we call them, we can see if they work. So uh, take actor. So there we go. Let's see if uh, this compiles. It does not compile. Um, conflicting types for in detector, right? So we need to do that. Now, it does compile now, but we are missing some stuff. So basically, to be able to use this print stuff and that calloc stuff, we need to include. Uh, to include some stuff and there we go now we can compile without warnings uh, cool so now that actually compiles now we're gonna need another data structure here. we're gonna need um, the scene and the scene will hold a list of actors uh, so let's create a scene Let's be a little bit quicker. Let's um, copy the actor and to scene.h, right? Then we're gonna replace actor with scene and actor lowercase with scene lowercase. And yeah. The only thing that's different here is that we're not going to use XYC there. The scene doesn't have a position. Um, now, this is where it gets a little bit tricky. We need a list of actors, all right? So, but we don't really... There's no built-in way to create, like, dynamic lists in C, so we have to make our own list. Um, so um, let's start with that actually, um, but maybe we'll know what we're going to call it. So maybe we'll call, let's just call this dynamic list actors. And for now, the scene will not take in anything in its constructor. Um, yeah, we're gonna have another. Um, hmm, I think that's that might be it for now, actually. Uh, yeah, I mean, let's keep it like that for now. And now, what we're gonna do? is that we're gonna create the, this dynamic list thing. Let's just include that here first. Include, include slash dynamic list dot h. So we actually need to create our own <laughs> dynamic list because it doesn't exist in C. So let's just do a header file here. Touch dynamic list dot h. And an implementation file, touch dynamic list dot c. Now I know you could probably just make a header file out of this, but um, this is the way I'm used to working with C. And also my make file like depends on this sort of structure of the code. So yeah, for now we'll have 
header files and implementation files for everything. So yeah, uh, let's just uh, go into that and we're going to do if not defined uh, pong dynamic list age define pong dynamic list age. Uh, and if and then we're going to have a type def struct uh, dynamic list struct and it's going to be called dynamic list now we're going to have uh, it's going to have a size size uh, size and it's also going to have items in it. Now, we're gonna use this list for, we want to be able to use this list for any sort of struct, okay? So what we could do, if we didn't have that requirement, we could like to, like if we knew that it was only gonna contain actors, like we could do actor, actors, but I want to be able to reuse this dynamic list for other things as well. So we're going to make this a little bit uh, hacky, actually. <laughs> um, now this is, uh, I might be doing it wrong here, actually. We'll see if it compiles. I don't really remember at the top of my head how to do it. But uh, yeah, so... Let's just include that here in the implementation file. Include dynamic list of age. Can I do this? Oh, we can't. Uh, I think the. Isn't that in like types of age or something? No, it's probably in that one. Yeah, it was. And also it compiles. Great. Now. So we're gonna have some methods to this list. We're gonna have uh, we're gonna have an, an init method. Now, um, I'm thinking a little bit here. Um, Let's add another thing here. Size, T item size. Right. So, in the constructor, maybe you we want the like the API for this to be that you have to enter the size that each uh, item pointer has to be in, if that makes sense. So let's do size t item size so that this uh, list knows how to uh, reallocate itself. All right. Um, I think that's a good idea. And then we're going to have void uh, um, append dynamic list uh, void item now this is probably a bad practice to use void pointers like this um, but yeah we're, we know what we're doing we know what we're doing we know what we're doing all right we're probably gonna have a uh, like a uh, method to remove items as well but we're not gonna care about that right now um, we're, we'll add it later now we need to put these into the implementation file. Do, do, do. And uh, one thing though that I want to add right away is uh, void uh, free dynamic list. We want to be able to free it. Uh, well, I forgot something here. We need dynamic list. Uh, list. 
so that we these methods know which dynamic list it is working with. Um, the list. Um, You're probably going to have a lot of opinions about this in the comments section because I'm not really, I wouldn't consider myself as a good C programmer. Like I'm just sort of hacking everything in there. But uh, yeah, so there we go. Let's just copy these methods again because I changed them. I changed them. There we go. Let's create the init method here first. Um, wait, I was thinking about something here. I don't really like to do that. I like to do struct like that instead. So we're going to do that here as well. So uh, dynamic list. This one is not going to have. <laughs> yeah, I'm a little bit tired today. Um, there we go. Dynamic list. List equals calloc. Now. Um, we'll probably start off by being zero, but. I don't know if that is gonna. Let's just do item size here. Um, ba, ba, ba. No, that's not. No, that's not what it's for. Sorry. Uh, calloc uh, one size of item size. Actually, not size of. There we go. And then we're gonna have dlist item size equals item size right so I actually would like to do like malloc zero here I don't know if you can do that um, uh, it's probably not a good idea I don't know tell me in the comments section what you think um, because now we're making a list here that is like it already has like no maybe this is correct like it all it has a, a memory for one item like when it's initialized I don't know it sounds good <laughs> right so yeah that is the list now return list um, did I return it in here? No, we didn't return it. <laughs> Stupid. Um, there we go. So now we have the constructor for that one. Now we want to write the append method for this. It's this will be a little bit tricky. Okay. Um, yeah. Oh, I forgot. There we go. Okay. Now, this will be a little bit tricky. Basically, what we need to do um, is do, do, do. first off, dlist size plus plus because we're adding an item, so the size will grow. And we have to do this manually because it's our own sort of data type. Um, why is my. There we go. Um, and then we need to do dlist items equals realloc. We need to reallocate the memory for that one. Now, uh, this is where the item size comes in handy. Um, <laughs> D list size times plus 
one, because we're adding one, right? Times dlist item size. I think this is correct. Uh, it's probably a better way to do it, but this is how we're going to do it now, right? And then dlist items dlist size minus one equals item. I think that's pretty much it. Um, yeah, let's just try that. Let's just try that, right? Let's see if it compiles for first. Yeah, it does compile actually. Make clean, make. Let's just see if our list works, okay? In here. So let's just include. Uh, include. Um, include slash dynamic list dot age. Let's just see if we can. Uh, also, let's just include. Um, boo, boo, boo. Let's. Uh, hmm. Let's uh, get the actor as well. And create a couple actors. So let's just push like uh, 10 actors or something to a dynamic list and then loop through it and print them and see if, if it works. Four, nine, t equals zero, i is less than 10, i plus plus. Well, we need to create our list first. So dynamic list my list equals init dynamic list size of struct actor struct so now we're telling the list that hey you are going to contain actor structs and this is the size that you will use for each item um now what we can do is uh append dynamic list in its actor let's just do i for x, i for y, i for c um, yeah and we need to tell it which list we're talking about so let's just do my list now hmm, let's see if it compiles it co does compile let's see if it runs it does run without problems uh, so pr that probably works. Now, there's one thing that I am uh, sort of, one problem here that might be a problem. I don't know if it's a problem. Um, it's that, uh, you know, we're, we're actually allocating like one, like the size of one, like it does have memory for one when it's initialized. Um, and then we re are reallocating it again. Wait, that wouldn't be a problem because <clears throat> the size is zero. So the first time we're reallocating it, we're actually reallocating it to one again. So yeah, it's 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 probably not a problem. All right, sorry for that. Now let's just loop through this one again and see if if we can print like the XYZ of each actor or something. So for int i equals zero, if i is less than my list size i plus plus. Now here comes a little problem with our void pointer, like we have to cast it to be able to use it. And you know, this might be a problem if uh, if we have code using the list and pushing in stuff that we don't know about because you know you can push in whatever the hell you want into that list and i if i cast it i'd probably get some errors you know so uh, it's not a good practice to use void pointers like this um but yeah let's just do it the hack way and now let's just loop through this okay um so yeah, let's just print f um, bah, bah, bah. Uh, doo, doo, doo. and we will format that with uh, 
we need to cast it actor my list items i like this and then we need to do actually let's just put this in like this actor a equals there we go and then just print a x a y a c compile uh it out and that works we get the xyz cool right so we have created our first dynamic list here and it's probably the only list that we will be using through this uh <laughs> game but all right then we know that this is uh this is working great now we can use that list in our um, scene here which we are already doing but we need to create our init stuff so let's do scene.c put those in there and then we're going to do include include scene.h and then in the init scene we will init the list so <clears throat> Scene s equals in it. No, wait, you, yeah, yeah, this is great. Calloc one size of scene, no, struct scene, scene struct. There we go, and then we're gonna do c s, I mean, um, do 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 actors equals in it dynamic list size of struct actor struct right so we have a list the list is initialized and cool let's just see if this compiles we need to return uh, s of course it doesn't compile wait we don't no, sorry, <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. Um, we need to do. This is this file is in the same directory, so we don't need to type include. All right. Now it should compile. No, it does not. Invalid size of incomplete type struct actor struct. What? Uh, why is this? Size of struct actor struct. Oh, it, it doesn't know about it doesn't know about actors. <laughs> include include slash actor page. There we go. It compiles. Now let's write the tick and the draw method here. So for int i equals zero, if i is less than uh, wait, so we're gonna iterate through each actor, and then we're gonna call update actor and then we need to cast actor s actors items i and we need to change the variable names here to s because a doesn't make sense See if it compiles. It does not compile. It doesn't know about the update actor function. Why? Oh, it's not called update. Um, here, there we are. Uh, it's called tick actor. Now it compiles. Let's make. Um, let's copy that for the draw.
and we're going to draw instead. Cool. That compiles as well. Um, now, we are going to need something that handles the scenes as well and knows which the current scene is as well, you know. And the reason why we're doing we're having multiple scenes is that because maybe I want to have a a game menu and stuff. So for example, the menu is a, a specific scene and then when you press a button you go to another scene. So we're going to need like some sort of scene manager or something. Um, touch scene manager h. Probably a bad name, but let's just do that for now. Scene manager c. And now here we're going to do um, if def on scene manager h define pong diff and then we do type diff struct scene manager struct scene manager and yeah so what we're gonna have in here is basically an, an integer for which the current scene is which is basically just uh, like a pointer to an item in the list so in scene index um, and then we're actually gonna have a list of scenes yeah we're gonna have that so we're gonna actually use the dynamic list here as well and um, now we're pretty happy about the we used void pointers because now we can push in the we can push in uh, scenes here as well and not just actors scenes Um, and then we'll have a couple of methods here. Scene manager, init scene manager. And maybe we should be able to put in which scene it should start at. No, no, I don't think that. Ah, no, I don't like it. Let's just always start at zero. Um, then we're gonna have another method called uh, scene um, get current scene scene manager now the reason why I'm putting why this name is sort of weird here is because I like to have like the struct name in the method so that you know which struct you're working with so first the function name is get current scene and the struct is scene manager right <laughs> If that makes sense. Um, scene manager sm. And we're also going to have another method called void scene scene uh, add scene scene manager. Maybe we should call it append, because we do that in the dynamic list. So this method, method will be used to add scenes to the scene manager. Cool. And we're going to have a scene s, scene manager sm. There we go. And we need to know about uh, dynamic list page. And we also need to know about scene.h, right? Um, yeah. That compiles without problems. Now let's just um, copy these methods into the scene manager.c. I'm gonna go into include, include slash scene manager.h. And then we're going to do the basic calloc things here. Uh, scene manager sm equals calloc one size of scene manager struct um, sm scenes equals init 
a dynamic list size of uh, scene struct uh, sm scene index equals zero. We're always starting at zero. Uh, return sm get current scene method. Um, this will basically just return sm items sm scene index and we also need to cast this to a scene because it's a void pointer because of our how our dynamic list works and then the append scene to add a scene to the scene manager um, basically just going to do Need, no, uh, append a dynamic list, sm items, um, s, and that's it. Nope, scene manager struct doesn't exist. Why? Scene manager struct undeclared. Didn't I include a scene manager, scene manager struct. Scene manager, type def struct, scene manager struct. What the hell is wrong here? Isn't that like exactly the same? That's really weird. Uh, scene manager. Let's see. Scene manager struct undeclared. Oh, I'm so stupid. Of course. And SM items. Oh, we need to do scenes. Items, SM, scenes. Uh, expected dynamic list, but argument is of type void. What? Dynamic list. Expected dynamic list, but argument is of type void. What the? Oh. There we go. And everything compiles. Now we're gonna use the scene manager in the main method. Um. So let's do we're gonna have it up here actually because it's we maybe we want to use it like in some other part of the program later scene manager uh, scene manager like this will be like a constant like this scene manager will be concurrent through the whole program and then we're gonna do scene manager is equals init scene manager and we didn't add any parameters to it right no Let's see if that works yep it compiles cool now like we're gonna have like a file where we register scenes to the scene manager so basically we will just have Register scenes, scene manager. Let's just call this include, include slash scene register or something. I'm going to do touch scene registry.h um, and 
true if def pong scene registry of h define pong scene registry h void register scenes. I think that works for what we call it, right? What the hell? Register scenes. Void register scenes. Scene manager. Include scene manager page. Touch scene registry dot C and we're gonna include include slash scene age and then we're gonna do that one. So basically in this method we will register all the scenes that we will go that we are going to use in our game. So let's just add a comment here. All scenes go here, right? Um, and yeah, we haven't really created any definitions for any scenes, but like we're gonna have a main menu and we're gonna have a, a game scene. So um, yeah, uh, let's just do like this video is getting pretty long right now, so I'm just gonna put some comments here so that we remember what to put here. Um, um, register main menu scene. Um, register main register game re register actual game scene. Uh, do do do. There we go, and that looks pretty good. Um, so if it compiles, it does compile, cool. Um, let's change our prints a little bit here. Uh, program started. Uh, scene registry, let's add a printf here too, printf. Um, registering scenes. We need to include there we go, everything compiles. Uh, on and out. We can see our prints and now I'm going to be a little bit helpful for me uh, in the next video because in the next video we'll probably start work, working with OpenGL stuff. So basically we're going to call a method here that says um, init OpenGL or something. Um, yeah. So let's include something else here called uh, include include slash graphics gra um, graphics gra um, let's just call it graphics age maybe and let's don't name this open gl because maybe you want to use some other API for the graphics card. I don't know. I don't like to name my functions after what uh, what tools I use. So maybe we should call this uh, uh, ba -ba -ba graphics. Actually, I should have set up graphics. Okay. Um, I think that is what we're gonna do. Maybe this one should return the window or something, I don't know. Um, which, yeah, we'll look into that in the next video. Um, graphics. 
page if def palm graphics h define palm graphics h void setup graphics and if that's basically what we're gonna have now um, I think we might have a some other util methods here in here as well um, but yeah we'll look into that um, To, uh, void setup graphics and for now we'll do nothing here uh, silence uh, to do 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 something <laughs> uh, cool is there anything else I can do to be helpful for me when I open this project this time um, um, one thing we could do uh, is create the git repository actually. Uh, let's do that as the last thing we do in this video. So we're going to go to my GitHub and we're going to create a new repository and I'll make this public so that you can look at this too. Uh, cpong. Um, pong game made in C. Now let's do so that people know that it's a work in progress, All right? Uh, do -do. Let's make it public. I might actually have a C pong already. I don't know. I I know no. I made a C plus plus pong once. I don't know if I published it though. All right. So uh, let's copy that one. And I'm gonna do git init. Git ignore vim c into dot git ignore git status and I'm gonna run that one git add all git status uh, git commit um first commit git push And now the repository should be here. Repository, yes, it's here. It's looking good. Um, okay, so thank you for watching, guys. And in the next video, hopefully, we'll get a window up and running and possibly some graphics. Um, yeah, thank you for watching, guys. See you in the next video.